North Korea has said it is considering carrying out missile strikes on the U.S. Pacific territory of Guam. The North's official news agency said it was considering a plan to fire medium to long range rockets at Guam, where U.S. strategic bombers are based. It quoted an earlier military statement from Tuesday. President Donald Trump threatened Pyongyang with fire and fury on the same day. The exchanges mark a sharp rise in rhetoric between the two countries. The UN recently approved further economic sanctions on North Korea, which Pyongyang said were a violent violation of our sovereignty, warning the U.S. would pay a price. On Wednesday, the official KCNA news agency said North Korea was carefully examining the operational plan for making an enveloping fire at the areas around Guam using its domestically made medium to long range Hwasong 12 missiles. The news agency reported a military statement issued on Tuesday, which probably came in response to U.S. military drills in Guam. However, there has been no indication that any attack on Guam by North Korea is imminent. In a message to the public, the governor of Guam Adi Baza Calvo said there was currently no threat to the island in the Marianas archipelago, but that Guam was prepared for any eventuality. North Korea's statement is the latest stage in a heating up of rhetoric and tension. Pyongyang, which has tested nuclear devices five times, launched two intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, in July, claiming it now had the ability to hit mainland U.S. North Korea's missile program. On Tuesday, media reports in the U.S. claimed the North had achieved its goal of making a nuclear warhead small enough to fit inside its missiles. While not confirmed, this was seen as one of the last obstacles to North Korea being a fully nuclear armed state. A report in the Washington Post, citing U.S. intelligence officials, suggested North Korea was developing nuclear weapons capable of hitting the U.S. at a much faster rate than expected. A Japanese government defense white paper also said the weapons program had advanced considerably and that North Korea possibly now had nuclear weapons. In response, President Trump warned North Korea to stop threatening the U.S., saying they would be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. However, Veteran U.S. Senator John McCain was skeptical about Mr. Trump's statement, saying he was not sure that President Trump is ready to act. Line Break Scary Situation, BBC's Yajitilame in Seoul, South Korea On the streets of Seoul, barely 50 kilometers, 30 miles, from the border with North Korea, the latest developments have drawn mixed reactions. Kim sung Soo, 62 said he thought Pyongyang was bluffing to preserve its regime and justify its nuclear program. But others are more concerned. Yan Uesuk says she finds the situation scary. I hope everyone can live in peace. Kim Jong-un keeps doing this and making us worry, she said. Analysts say the language from Pyongyang always gets more aggressive in August, when the U.S. and South Korea conduct joint military exercises. But this time, with a U.S. president who also uses strong words, the confrontation is getting even fiercer than usual. Line Break North Korea had reacted angrily after the fresh sanctions were announced on Saturday by the U.N., in an attempt to pressure it into giving up its nuclear ambitions. The sanctions aim to reduce North Korea's export revenues by a third. KCNA said North Korea would retaliate and make the U.S. pay a price for drafting the new measures. It called the sanctions a violent violation of our sovereignty, the news agency said. China, which is Pyongyang's closest ally, has said it is 100 percent committed to enforcing the latest round of sanctions. Russia and China have previously differed with others on how to handle Pyongyang, but in recent months have joined calls for North Korea to stop its missile tests, while also urging the U.S. and South Korea to halt military drills and withdraw an anti-missile system from the South. Meanwhile on Wednesday the UK Foreign Office said it would continue to work with the US and our international partners to maintain pressure on North Korea. We have been consistently clear and forthright in our condemnation of North Korea's destabilizing and illegal behavior, including through support for UN Security Council resolutions to bring in sanctions that will limit North Korea's ability to pursue its nuclear weapons program. A spokesman said. A spokesman for Germany's foreign ministry, 
quoted by AFP, said it was watching the situation with the greatest concern and called on all sides to use restraint. The tiny but important island of Guam. Map showing Guam the 541 square kilometers, 209 square miles, volcanic and coral island in the Pacific between the Philippines and Hawaii. It is an unorganized, unincorporated U.S. territory, with a population of about 163,000. U.S. military bases cover about a quarter of the island. About 6,000 personnel are based there and there are plans to move in thousands more. It was a key U.S. base in World War II, and remains a vital staging post for U.S. operations, giving access to potential flashpoints like the South China Sea, the Koreas and the Taiwan Straits. Straits.